Chagas disease is a neglected tropical disease that is endemic in Brazil and the majority of South and Central America. Chagas disease is classified as a neglected tropical disease, and over 8 million people in the endemic region are infected, while many others remain undiagnosed. This lack of diagnosis is problematic because, if left untreated, the disease can persist in the body for the entire life of the infected patient, and is potentially life-threatening, especially in children and those with suppressed immune systems. Chagas is caused by a, by a protozoan parasite called Trypanosoma cruzi, or T. cruzi. The parasite enters the body through a, through a variety of transmission vectors and invades the body's dendritic cells, eventually entering the bloodstream. Chagas is transmitted through five primary vectors, congenitally, contaminated blood, contaminated organs, accidental labator laboratory exposure, and infected insects, although the insect vector is the most common in rural areas with less socioeconomic development. The insect vector is the triadamine bug, otherwise known as the kissing bug. The kissing bug hides in the crevices of walls and cracks in roofs in poorly made houses, which are often made of natural materials such as mud, straw, or palm thatch. The kissing bug bites mammals to feed on their blood and then defecates at the site of the bite wound. The feces is then mechanically entered into the body through the eyelids, mouth, or bite hole. Chagas disease has two distinct phases, acute and chronic. The acute phase appears in the first weeks to months of the infection, and the chronic phase can occur anywhere from a few years to decades later. Both phases can range from being asymptomatic to life-threatening, but the severity of the disease depends greatly on the patient and the strain of the parasite. In the acute phase, there are a wide variety of symptoms, but as many of the, sympt but as many of the symptoms are not unique to the disease and often can re be resolved without treatment, it often goes unnoticed. Some symptoms include fever, fatigue, body aches, a mild enlargement of the liver or spleen, swollen glands, and local swelling on the face at the site of the bite. In the chronic phase, on average, there's a 30% chance of, a more ser of more serious complications developing, such as congestive heart failure, an enlarged heart, an altered heart rate or rhythm, cardiac arrest, or an enlargement, enlarged esophagus or colon. To prevent the spread of Chagas disease, the simplest solution is vector control. This can be done through blood tests, which allow an accurate diagnosis even if the patient is asymptomatic, pesticides to kill the triadamine bug once they are in the habitat, and of course better home construction, uh, which excludes cracks the triadamine bug lives in. Treatment for Chagas depends on the stage of the infection, but treatment is generally only effective in the acute phase, where the medicines are an antiparasitic as opposed to treatments in the chronic phase, which directly manage the complications as opposed to treating the underlying illness. There are currently two antiparasitic treatments available, benzodiazole and nefertimox. Unfortunately, both medications are expensive, making it difficult for impoverished people in rural areas to fully comply with the regimen, but which both strengthens the parasite and fails to kill the infection. As Chagas is easily preventable and treatable, we have decided to divide a $100,000 grant into two portions, vector control and treatment. $25,000 of the grant would go towards making treatment more affordable through government subsidies, and $75,000 of the grant would go towards eliminating the insect vector from homes through better construction and the use of pesticides. This would control transmission, gradually reducing infection rates throughout the next several generations. This grant would be given to the Chagas Disease Foundation, a nonprofit working with volunteers and scientists to research Chagas all over South and Central America, including several operations in Brazil. Thank you for watching this video, which was created by Katie Rhodes and Ruben Schaefer for Pathogens and Parasites.